Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to build a decision tree using greedy approach for the given data set. This is the part two video of this particular numerical. In the previous video, I have already solved the first part of this particular numerical where I have built the decision tree by considering Z as the root node. Now in this video, I will discuss how to build the decision tree by considering X as the root node and then how to calculate the error rate for this particular tree. So in the previous case, uh, we calculated the uh, classification error rate. Z was uh, having the minimum error. So that's the reason we have considered Z and then we build the decision tree. Now we need to solve the same example by considering X as the first node or you can say that the root node. Because uh, in the previous case, we have calculated the error for all these particular attributes. We got Z, uh, the Z attribute was having the minimum error. By considering that particular thing, we have built the tree. Now we will consider X as the root node and then we will try to the build the tree and then we will get the overall the error rate in this particular case. Now if you want to consider the X as the root node, we need to consider two possibilities again that is X is equal to 0 and X is equal to 1 here. That is X is equal to 0 is the left subtree and X is equal to 1 will be the right subtree in this case. So first I will consider X is equal to 0 here. If I consider x is equal to 0, this is the count table for y and this is the count table for z here. So once you get this particular count tables, we need to calculate the error for y and error for z here. So error for y is equal to the minimum between these two is 5 and minimum between these two is equal to 5 here. And the total number of examples are how many? Totally we have 120 examples here. So 5 divided by 120 plus 5 divided by 120 that is nothing but a 10 divided by 120 which is equivalent to 0 0.083 here. Similarly, between these two minimum is 15, between these two minimum is 15. So 15 divided by total number of example is, is 80, 15 divided by total number of examples is 80, 30 divided by 80 which is equivalent to 0.375 here. Between y and z, y is having the minimum error. So we will consider y as the node here and then we will start building the tree here. So on the left hand side, we will consider what node? Y here. So once you consider Y as the node here, now you need to look at this particular row. There are two possibilities again for Y is equal to 0 and Y is equal to 1 here. For Y is equal to 0, between these two, 55 is the maximum, which is with respect to C2 here. So that's the reason we have written C2 because 5 is error and 55 is correct classification. Now, when you look at this part, I think that is y is equal to 1 between these two, this one is maximum that is with respect to C1 here. So I have written C1 at this particular point. Now we will go with this particular side that is the right side when x is equal to 1. So when x is equal to 1, we need to consider remaining four examples that is nothing but these four examples. So when you consider these particular four examples, again, we will get this as the count table for y and this as a count table for z in this case. Again, we will calculate the error rate for this one and error rate for this one. So error rate for y is equal to 0.125 and error rate for this particular z is equal to 0.375 here. Between these two again, this one is the minimum. So we will consider y as the best splitting node on the right hand side here. So y is considered here. Again, we have left side as 0, right side as 1. Now, when y is equal to 0, between these two, which is the correct classification 35 that is with respect to, to what C1 here. I have written C1 here between these two, which one is the correct classification 35 again 35 is with respect to, to what C2. So that is what I have written here. This is how the decision tree looks like with X as the root node in this case. Now, once you build this particular decision tree again, we need to calculate the overall error rate here. Again, when you want to calculate the overall error rate for X, there are two possible branches are there. X is equal to 0 and X is equal to 1. X is equal to 0. We need to consider the Y table here. That's, this is the Y table. And when X is equal to 1, this is the Y table here. We have already calculated these tables in the previous slide. The same tables I have considered here. Now, when you consider these things, the total number of examples. If you consider these examples, these are 120 here. And these examples are 80. So 80 plus 120 is equal to totally 200 examples are there. And how many, how about the error between these two, five is the error and between these two, five is the error. So five divided by 200 plus five divided by 200 here. And when it comes to this side, this five is the error here. And this particular five is the error five divided by 200, five divided by 200. So totally 20 divided by 200, which is equal to 0.1 in this case. 
so the error what we got for this particular tree is equal to 0.1 the overall error rate for this particular tree that is when x is the root node is equal to 0.1 here in the previous video we have built the decision tree by considering z as the root node if we consider z as the root node we got the error rate is 0.3 and if we compare these two error rates the 0.1 is better than 0.3 the meaning of this one is considering x as the root node is the better option comparing z as the root node over here so this is how actually we can build the decision tree for the given data set as well as you can calculate the overall error rate i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching